Hey there, Furbix here, coming at you with a new easy way to multiply matrices. If you find your current method too messy or time consuming, or maybe your teachers keep bugging you for not showing your work, you might enjoy the simple method I came up with. Here's how you do it. First, write the second matrix in column major order, so that columns are written sequentially in a line. By this, I mean like so. 1, 6, 3, 0. 1, 6, 3, 0. Second, drop down the first matrix beside your second one. So now it looks kind of like a table. Like so. Now, your third step is you're going to look at each number in each group. So this is one group, say for example. And here's the number. And we're going to multiply it by the above group for each corresponding number. So like 3 by 1, we're just going to write it down here in a cell. 4 by 6, same deal. 3 by 3, 9. 4 by 0, 0. 2 by 1, 2. 0 by 6, 0. 2 by 3, 6. 0 by 0. So now we have all of these cells filled up. We're going to take these and we're going to add up all the numbers inside each cell. So we get 27, 9, 2, and 6. And that's our product matrix. Now this of course doesn't work just with square matrices. This works with any sort of admissible matrix or group of matrices. So uh, I don't know, let's do uh, 2 by 3 times uh, 3 by 2. So, let's say we've got, I don't know, let's make up some numbers. Here's our 2 by 3 times, uh, that's a 2. No, 1, 2, 3. There we go. And now we're just going to do the same thing that we did before. Call a major order. 1, 3, 1, 0, 0, 2, and 2, 6, 3. Second, drop down the other matrix. Now we've got our table ready to rock. 1 by 1. And you just fill up the table. And, oh, this is a big one. That's interesting. Okay. And so now you're just going to do the same thing as we did before and you're going to add up each cell. And there's our product matrix. 2 by 3. Well, that's about it. Hope this helps. Study hard.